So how do you charge electric vehicles? Well, my name's Anthony with Bud Smell Motor Cars Mercedes-Benz, and today I'm gonna show you how. So in the world of electric car charging, there are several levels to how you'll charge an EV. And by levels, different types of connections, different types of charging speeds, also gonna vary a little bit with battery electric vehicles and both with, with the, the full battery electric and the plug-in hybrids in terms of charging times and how to charge them. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of those different ways today. In particular, the what they call level two charging. So I'll. I'll I'll explain a little. So level one, which kind of became popular with the plug-in hybrids, is your typical plugging into like a say a say a three-prong household outlet, right? So plug-in hybrids kind of made this option famous because you were getting about one to five miles per hour of charge, which in a plug-in hybrid is fine. Generally speaking, you're talking about 10, 15, 20 miles, maybe 30 miles tops in terms of how long they can run on electric only, right? So plug-in hybrids were always kind of designed to be a little bit of electric and a little bit of gas. Well, now we naturally have full electric vehicles. So with these battery electric vehicles, what you're seeing is, is much, much larger ranges. So ranges from 150, 250, even 350 mile plus range vehicles. Level one isn't really feasible with a vehicle with that kind of battery capacity. So what you're gonna find is level two and level three and I'm gonna walk you through primarily both of those today. So first of all, with the level two charging, you're going to see there are inside and outside chargers. We're gonna show off both. Right behind me here is actually a outdoor commercial level two charger. So this is actually one that's outside of our dealership here. And this actually happens to be one that runs through a company called ChargePoint. One of the things I absolutely love about how this charger is set up is it actually has some really cool sensitivity on the exterior where it features NFC. This is something you may already be seeing with, for example, credit cards at a lot of different retailers, ability to use your phone, ability to use a credit card that has a chip in it where you can actually just kind of come close to the car and activate. So what you're gonna find here is actually with any of the modern Mercedes EVs, there is a charge card that comes with the, the car itself that can be set up with your Mercedes Me Charge to activate chargers such as this. You can also use a phone equipped with NFC. So any modern Android or iPhone is gonna be capable of simply taking your phone and getting up close to the charger and it can use NFC that way as well. Once you unlock the charger, you're going to see these two slots right here become unlocked, you can simply disengage the charger and use it to plug in the vehicle. Now something you're also gonna find with these different charging levels, and I'm gonna show this off a little bit inside as well with one of our chargers that's already unlocked, is there are different types of plugs. Now much of the industry, just about every manufacturer in the industry uses the J-plug technology. So this actually happens to be a five pin J-plug, as is going to be the one I'm gonna show off a little inside. You're also going to see the seven pin style of plug where it features two extra ports. We're gonna show off how that feature works a little bit on the car as well, because that seven pin, that's your level three. So again, these different levels are gonna to have to do with how much power you're able to get at one time into the vehicle based on charge. Level two uses alternating current, so AC power. It has to convert back and forth in the vehicle itself using the charge technology. DC is what you're actually putting into the vehicle, the direct current, whenever you use level three charging. That's why it's even quicker. We're gonna go around inside real quick and I'm gonna walk you through it. So inside here, I actually have a ChargePoint HomeFlex. So same brand as actually the charger we saw outside. This is actually a charger that you could buy for your home. Uh, very easy to install. It's actually just mounted here to the wall and it's actually plugged into a dryer style socket you'll actually see in the wall itself. So I'm actually gonna unplug this for a moment. So to kind of show that off, pretty cool. That's what's plugging this guy into the wall here. This is again a home use level two charger. This is sort of the recommended charge technology to put into your home with any of these modern battery electric vehicles. It will also work in with, with the plug-in hybrids, but again, this is ideal for a full electric vehicle like the Mercedes-Benz EQB I have to my right. Going to show off a little bit how this charger works and how easy it is to charge your car. So you're actually gonna find here that there is a button to unlock it, to remove the charger. It's got a nice long cable, which I'm actually gonna unwind a little bit because where I have the car parked, the charger's on the other side of it. So just to show off the length of this one, this is called the ChargePoint Home Flex. So we're gonna walk around the vehicle here. 
All right, so around back, something really cool that Mercedes did on all of our EVs is they actually used the existing fuel door concept for the plugs for the electric vehicle. So both on our EQS, our EQB, and a few of our vehicles coming soon, such as our EQE, EQS Sport Utility, simply push on the door the way you generally would with our fuel doors, but inside looks a little bit different. What you actually will see here is a couple of kind of trap doors, kind of little covers, if you will, for both the level two style plug and the level three. So speaking to that for a moment, if I open the first flap, you're gonna find that that is the five pin J plug. Notice it matches what I am holding in my hand. Again, this is the five pin J plug that you're gonna see out and about on many, many chargers as well as most home use chargers. If you are at a fast charge station, so a level three, the level three is gonna feature seven pins. So there's actually two additional spots. That's what your other door is for, pretty cool. So you can actually see that's where you would put the larger style plug. Since again, we're showing off the level two today with this charger, I can go ahead and close this. And you'll notice that something nice that Mercedes actually did to make it real easy for when you're charging is you're gonna see this is actually color coded up at the top. White simply means it's unlocked and ready to be charged. I just have to take the plug, pop it right into the port. The light's now going to go to a kind of a flickering yellow effect, which means it is waiting to receive charge. And soon it will be going to a blinking green. Once that happens, it means the charge is engaged and there you go. You'll notice now it has a blinking green effect. This is the color that Mercedes happens to use on the EQB to tell you it is in the process of charging. Now something nice as well is in various of our EVs, they have actually kind of a cool little color code listing here for you on the inside of what would normally be the fuel door, in this case, the, the charge door. Again, the blinking white for unlocked, blinking red if there was any kind of a charging error or any kind of an issue, blinking yellow waiting to be charged, solid yellow if it's waiting. You can actually set this car to a waiting, uh, kind of a standby state inside if you wanted. Blinking green for in the process of charging and the solid green for the car is fully charged. And again, you can see all this information on the displays as well in the car itself. Now, something important to keep in mind as well is when this process is happening, it's actually what is referenced uh, in the electric vehicle world as an electric handshake. So what's happening here is there's a, obviously a transfer of power occurring where naturally the power is coming into the car, going into the charger in the vehicle, and the car itself with the charger can tell if it's AC power or DC power. To disable the electric handshake, all you do is you push on the little button that's glowing white here, the little kind of charger indicator, Simply press and hold this indicator for a couple seconds. You'll notice rather quickly you hear a sound. You also see this is white. That means it is now safe and easy to remove this cable. If you forget, no worries at all. The car won't allow you to remove the charger while that handshake is still active. Simply close the door and you're done. So that was a few pieces of information on how to charge your electric Mercedes-Benz vehicle. More electrics coming soon. Again, our second all-electric offering for the United States is out now, our Mercedes-Benz EQB. We are expecting to see a few more Mercedes EVs before the end of the year, including the Mercedes-Benz EQS Sport Utility, and coming soon, the Mercedes EQE car. For any questions, do not hesitate to stop into our showroom here in Greensburg or reach out to us on smailmercedesbenz.com.